The government of Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has set up a panel to review the events leading to a historical apology for the forceful mobilization of Korean women as sex slaves. Japan said last week it will announce the result of the review soon. The 1993 Kono statement by Yohei Kono, the chief cabinet secretary at the time, acknowledges that the Japanese army was involved in recruiting women to serve in frontline brothels. Korea has long pressed Japan to address the grievances of victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery by offering a formal apology and providing them with compensation. Japan has refused to do so, saying the issue was resolved by a 1965 treaty. Time is running out for the 54 surviving Korean victims, whose average age is 88.